Welcome to Bienvenue's How to Become Fluent in French podcast, where we share tips and tricks to help you in your journey to speak French fluently. Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle Hayduck, and I am the founder of Bienvenue French Language School in Hudson, Ohio. We offer custom programs as well as fast track career training that will get you ready for a new career in just 18 months. Today's episode of How to Become Fluent in French is called, Are They Coming On to You? Spring is right around the corner, if we are to believe some dumb groundhog. And with that, usually a strange sort of wake-up call. People start looking at one another more intently, as if they are sizing one another up to see how they fit one another's genetic requirements. And so with that strange dance can come some welcome as well as unwelcome attention. As foreigners, we may not always recognize that people are coming on to us. So here are a few indicators that might be happening. If someone says to you, vous avez du feu? Do you have a light? Vous avez du feu? They're usually not really interested in a light because if they smoke, they usually have their own lighter. It is usually just a way to break the ice. Repeat after me. Vous avez du feu? Vous avez du feu? How about this one? Si on prenait un verre un de ces jours? What if we went for a drink one of these days? Si on prenait un verre? Repeat after me. Si on prenait un verre un de ces jours? Si on prenait un verre un de ces jours? Si on prenait un verre, un de ces jours. I mean, you might want to use that one with somebody that you met. And it wouldn't necessarily have to be any kind of a romantic date. You could meet somebody you think that you may have some um, connection with, even if it's just on a friendship basis, and ask them to go out for a drink or coffee or whatever. How about the next one? On se fait la bise? So la bise is that double French kiss or triple or quadruple French kiss that they give one another in the air, but resting cheek to cheek. So if they say, on se fait la bise, that means that they're really trying to get close to you. And of course, you answer appropriately. On se fait la bise? On se fait la bise? On se fait la bise? And of course, you can use that with somebody that you like or somebody you're becoming friendly with also. How about this one? On peut se tutoyer? Can we say tu to one another? So this is like trying to become more friendly and closer and more intimate. On peut se tutoyer? On peut se tutoyer? Now, of course, you can use this if you are becoming friendly with someone, but be careful who you actually ask, because if it's inappropriate, then they will let you know very quickly. How about the next one? This one is definitely an intention. Tu veux sortir avec moi? Do you want to go out with me? Tu veux sortir avec moi? Tu veux sortir avec moi? And this one usually means more than just, you know, going out on a date. This is sort of asking you if you might entertain having a relationship with this person. Okay, next one. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle, mais vous êtes absolument charmante. Excuse me, miss, but you're absolutely charming. Okay, um, <laughs> we're not going to have to repeat all these, but um, if you hear charmant, charmante, that means charming. Absolument, absolutely, absolument charmante. Why don't you repeat? Absolument charmante. Absolument charmante. All right, let's do the whole thing. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle, mais vous êtes absolument charmante. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. 
mais vous êtes absolument charmante. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. Mais vous êtes absolument charmante. Now, if you have no intention of using any of these for yourself, it might at least be worth it for you to recognize them. And of course, the best way to recognize them is to say them and grow accustomed to hearing them. Here's an expression that's really kind of ridiculous. Est-ce que ça fait mal quand tu es tombé du paradis? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I think I'm, I've heard this one in English too. Est-ce que ça fait mal quand tu es tombé du paradis? So paradis is heaven. Tombé du paradis. If you hear somebody saying tombé du paradis, fell from heaven, you know that they're using that ridiculous expression to come on to you. Est-ce que ça fait mal? Did it hurt? Repeat after me. Est-ce que ça fait mal? Est-ce que ça fait mal? Est-ce que ça fait mal? Quand tu es tombé du paradis. Quand tu es tombé du paradis. All right, here's another one. Si le verbe aimer n'existait pas, je l'aurais inventé en te voyant. If the verb to love did not exist, I would have invented it when I saw you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, si le verbe aimer, repeat after me. Si le verbe aimer, si le verbe aimer, n'existait pas, n'existait pas. Si le verbe aimer n'existait pas, je l'aurais inventé, je l'aurais inventé en te voyant. En te voyant. All right, I don't want you to get overwhelmed, so we'll just pass the next one. But at least you know what it sounds like. Est-ce que tu crois au coup de foudre du premier regard ou est-ce que je dois repasser? This one's absolutely ridiculous. Do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? So here we use coup de foudre, which is love at first sight. Coup de foudre, which is the same expression as a lightning bolt. Est-ce que tu crois au coup de foudre? Do you believe in the in love at first sight? Au premier regard. Ou est-ce que je dois repasser? Or should I come back? All right, let's just do the first part. Est-ce que tu crois au coup de foudre? Est-ce que tu crois au coup de foudre? Okay. Excuse-moi, on dirait que j'ai perdu mon numéro de téléphone. Est-ce que je pourrais emprunter le tien? Excuse me, I think I lost my phone number. Could I borrow yours? Yeah, I know, really close. Okay. Excusez-moi, or excuse-moi. Excuse-moi. And then there is, j'ai perdu mon numéro de téléphone. I forgot my telephone number. J'ai perdu mon numéro de téléphone. Est-ce que je pourrais emprunter le tien? Can I borrow yours? Est-ce que je pourrais emprunter le tien? Est-ce que je pourrais emprunter le tien? Which, of course, you could use for other things too. Can I borrow your phone? Can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow whatever? So, what if these words were not welcome? You are absolutely annoyed. Let's look at a few possible responses to let your intended suitor down gracefully. All right, so these are the nice ones. Merci, mais je suis en couple. Repeat after me. Merci, mais je suis en couple. 
thank you, but I'm part of a couple. Or you could say, I'm married. So that one will just change the last word. Merci, mais je suis marié. Merci, mais je suis marié. And the first one was, merci, mais je suis en couple. Then, of course, you can always use this one. Je suis lesbienne. I'm a lesbian. Je suis lesbienne. Je suis lesbienne. Or if you're a gay man, you can say, je n'aime que les hommes. Je n'aime que les hommes. Je n'aime que les hommes. You could say, je suis flatté, I'm flattered. Je suis flatté. Je suis flatté. Mais ce n'est pas envisageable. But it is not. And you are in the courts. <laughs> Mais ce n'est pas envisageable. Mais ce n'est pas envisageable. Or you could say, Merci de vos gentils mots. Merci de vos gentils mots. Mais. Merci de vos gentils mots. Mais. Thank you for your kind words, but, and then you add on whatever you want. Merci de vos gentils mots, mais. Now, if they come on to you by using tu, you can also play that card. Je ne vous connais pas. Pourquoi vous me tutoyez? I don't know you. Why are you using tu with me? Je ne vous connais pas. Je ne vous connais pas. Pourquoi vous me tutoyez? Pourquoi vous me tutoyez? So, what if he or she doesn't stop? What would you say to him or her to leave you alone? Well, you could say, Oh, ça va, laisse tomber. Okay, let it go. Oh, ça va, laisse tomber. Oh, ça va, laisse tomber. Now, of course, you have to put the intonation in this. So, that's enough is, ça suffit. Ça suffit. Ça suffit. Because if you just say, oh, ça suffit, you know, that's not really very affirmative or aggressive. The next one is, fichez-moi la paix. Fichez-moi la paix. Leave me alone. Fichez-moi la paix. Fichez-moi la paix. The next one, dégagez. Dégagez. Go away. Dégagez. Then we have the next one, which is slightly slang. Foutez le camp. Foutez le camp. Go away. Foutez le camp. Foutez le camp. Last one on my list is you're annoying. Vous m'agacez. Vous m'agacez. Vous m'agacez. So it's worth having a few of these expressions under your belt, just in case. You never really know what you might run into, and it's better to be prepared than not. Remember, the key to becoming fluent is speaking. It doesn't matter how many podcast shows or how much radio you listen to, you cannot become fluent if the words don't come out of your mouth. If you've been stuck in that in-between place where you can't seem to put it all together, go to frenchlanguage.net and take a look at our programs. A bientôt